we just don't have the opportunity very often, well, hardly ever in church, to have someone actually put the entire biblical story together from creation um, to the end. I mean, to put it together and to discuss all these pieces and how they fit of why do we need to be in community and um, why did Christ have to come? And, and these kinds of questions, we usually learn about them in isolation. And there is something really beneficial, I think, for everyone to see it as one, one piece. The most basic reason someone should come to Starting Point is just to understand the Christian faith. But I think one of the best ways to talk about why someone should come is to, is to ask the question, who should come? Who's Starting Point for? I think the most common misconception about Starting Point is that it is only for people who are starting out fresh in the faith. Um, and we just have really found that not to be the case. My husband grew up in the Catholic Church, and um, so his walk was definitely different than mine. And honestly, I sort of took the Starting Point um, class when I signed up thinking, oh, I'm just going to go as a support for my husband. I was surprised that there were so many people in there at different starting points. There were people who were just starting out knowing, you know, who God and Jesus are. There were people in there who have attended Faith Bridge and just, you know, wanted a refresher. There were people that were already plugged into small groups. And so Emily was thinking, well, I'm just going to go to support Steve, my husband, and I'll just kind of listen and, and play along because I know all this. And I think what Emily found and what blew her away was that she learned a ton. She was glued. I'd look at the clock and it would I would turn around and think, oh, it's already almost over. Um, and I honestly could have sat in there for five hours and listened. I think Emily had the impression that everyone in church is shiny and polished mm -hmm. and that no one has stuff going on in the background. And when she began to hear people talk in the group about what they were dealing with, and she thought, hey, I've been through that too, she realized, hey, that's not the case, that not everyone is shiny and bright and polished, and they're just like me. People are coming for the information. They don't realize that a lot of what that starting point is, is learning what it means to be in the body of Christ. In particular, there was one day where I was talking and I just kind of looked up and she was just had tears streaming down her face. And, and after I said, hey, what was, what was going on? And she said, every single thing that was being expressed was something I've experienced, something I've dealt with, something I never wanted to share with the church. Uh, it, but it was like everyone was speaking right to me. And I think that's one of the great things about Starting Point is that it's a safe place. Before we started Starting Point, we um, had been coming to Faith Bridge, uh, would see a lot of awesome and friendly faces, and felt very welcomed in every aspect. But that was really as far as we were plugged in. Um, it was very intimidating to think about starting a small group, knowing that we wanted to, but just where do you really take that first step? And um, Starting Point really offered that to us that we got to see what a small group is like and that everyone's starting in a different place and that we really do fit in here. 